Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to basically be building on the last video where the question is what if we have two objects and they just graze each other? How do we call that an impact and handle that like an impact? So in our case, what, how can we handle code where part of the snake crosses over part of the apple and we want to say that was the, the snake ate the apple in that case? Well, um, to start, first of all, to just to make this easier on us visually and, and while we're playing to actually mimic this event occurring, let's make the block size 20. So keep in mind the block size is the thickness of our snake. So each block of the snake or segment of our snake is 20 pixels by 20 pixels. So uh, let's go ahead and save and run that really quick just to kind of get an idea. So you can see that our snake is slightly larger now and there's our apple. And so we could do something like this where, uh, well, that triggered. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, somehow we got a game over. I'm not really sure how that was a game over. Uh, okay. Well, here's an example where there's slight crossover and we're not actually triggering an event there. Um, I'm going to try and get, it, get another one. Our snake is moving way too fast. <laughs> I don't understand how I keep getting it. I, I guess I'm hitting back. There we go. There's another good example. Okay, so we're definitely, that should be very clear on the video, that we're crossing over here, but we're not actually uh, getting in it. Like, you know, hey, you ate the apple. And so we know that most of our handling is, is pretty good, but we're not, it's, not, it's not perfect yet. So how can we uh, remedy this? And basically, for any size of block or snake, so for example, if the snake was 50, and I'm going to go ahead and slow down the frames for a second, <laughs> just because that, this is a huge snake now. So our snake is green, don't forget. So there's our snake, and basically our snake can go over the entire apple, right? And we're not, it's not saying you ate that apple. So uh, what we want to do is have code that no matter what, if there's any crossover at all, that there's been an, you know, the apple has been eaten. So uh, let's rebring up the frames per second, put block size to 20, and now we'll migrate ourselves down to where we're going to be spending quite a bit of time, and that is right here. So basically, we're going to be rewriting this block. And let me make sure that, okay, so um, since we're going to rewrite this block, and this was the previous version of that block, what I'm going to go ahead and have us do is we're going to get rid of this version. So like I was saying in the previous video, I like to leave sometimes a block of code uh, that I've bit, I've replaced just in case I find out later on I shouldn't have replaced it or maybe I want to revisit that idea. So anyway, that's well, I like to leave them there, but after a few iterations, it's like, okay, let's get rid of it. You can always save you know examples of your code, and you really should anyways in like files. So you can always go back and see what your old code looked like. So I'm going to delete that, and we're basically, I think we'll just delete this, um, well, we'll comment it out. So commenting this out, this is our old crossover um, code. Now we're ready to co create some new, um, new crossover codes. So the question is first, we want to know, very similarly, did the x's cross, but this time it's a little different. It's not just is the x within the boundaries of the apple, it's is x plus the size within any of the boundaries and then y plus the size. So these if statements will be pretty darn long. We could separate them, but I, I kind of like the idea of using ors. Um, so you'll have to bear with me because we're going to be like going off of the screen with these or statements. Um, even if I make my font small, it will go off the screen. So just try to follow along. I'll try to type these slow. Uh, so you guys can um, uh, follow along because I know I type kind of fast so um, uh, sometimes people complain that I type too quick so anyway this is where we're going to code the logic for crossover so the first question we ask is if lead x is uh, greater than so keep in mind lead x is the top left so if lead x are the top left is greater than rand apple x. So if that's greater than rand apple x, um, but that's not enough, right? Because that that you know if the snake if the apple's here, and I'm trying to think, so over here would look good for you. So if the apple's here and your snake is here, it is greater than the rand apple x. So that's that's great, but it also needs to be and less than 
the other edge of your apple. So it needs to be like within these these two areas, right? So if lead x is uh, greater than rand apple x and lead x is less than rand apple x, and how do we find out what the other side of that apple x is? Well, we just do plus apple thickness, right? So how thick is that apple? Our apple is 30 pixels thick. So if we scroll up here, apparently way up here, did I roll over it? Yeah. So here's apple thickness, and that is a capital A. Did I use a capital A? No, I did not. So um, my variable apple thickness has a capital A, a capital T. So let me fix that um, down here, capital A. Okay. So if basically the X is between those two X's, Okay, so um, so that's fine, right? That would be basically the same-ish original code that we had written if the, that lead X was in between those. But what other thing can be in between those? What if, um, again, let's see, I've got the apple here, and then your snake is here. That's our, the crossover we're talking about, the snake's coming down here. But what if the snake's over here? Well, the lead X isn't crossing over. And in fact, I think for my next demonstration, I'll use paint again. I'm sure that's better than my fists. Um, so in fact, let me bring up paint real quick. Because this is the, this is the problem uh, that we're having. I know a lot of people who really like my paint jobs. So. so our apple, let me do solid fill. So here's our, I said solid fill, jerk. There we go. Um, and then here's our snake. So the scenario that we just coded is basically, what is your deal? Oh, because I made the background. The scenario that we just coded is as if our snake is doing this, right? So if lead X is between those two marks, right? So if it was like that. But what if your snake is like this, right? Lead X is not between those two boundaries. Therefore, there it would be saying there's no crossover. So we have to ask if that's the case or if this side is the case. So um, so in the next video, that's what we'll be talking about. So we'll just be adding an or statement and it has to be an or. I mean, you could, you know, if and then if, you could stack the ifs, but I don't really like doing that. It's not actually what we're asking. So it's not double ifs, it's if, either, it's like if this or this happens. So we definitely want to use an or, but anyway, uh, that's what we'll do in the next video, so stay tuned for that.